Good afternoon, wonderful people. Good afternoon. This is Royce Living coming back, coming back at you again. Now, to give you an update on what happened with the whole scheduling process. Now, I know I'm looking kind of rough, but to give you an update to show it's all about mindset and getting through. I called on several times to my advisor to get the hold removed off my account. Now, for those new who do not understand what a hold is, a hold prevents you from doing anything on your school account, your school, whatever school you're with. Prevents you from doing anything, like scheduling classes, um, doing other things, all kind of stuff. It prevents you. So, to get the hold removed, I called my advisor on several occasions. But I couldn't get to my advisor. I got to, you know, her front desk. The, you know, the, the lady in front. The uh, People, I like to call them the gatekeeper. Whenever you're calling and you have to talk to a lady before you get to the person, that's the gatekeeper. Now, it's all about mindset. Like I told you before, don't blame other people. How about you? I didn't blame the gatekeeper from keeping me from getting this hole removed. Instead, I'm like, you know what? What can I do? So I called the first time. I said, ma'am, I would like to have my hole removed off my account. I already met with my advisor already prior to the prior to my date of scheduling. So my hole should not be there. So I would like it removed. Okay, can you schedule an appointment? Okay, sure. What's the nearest appointment? Uh, April 8th. Mind you, it's the 4th. The longer you wait, the more the classes are gone. So I was like, I can't wait until the 8th. She said, well, I don't know I can do for you. Okay, well, can you take my name down and give me my number? Sure, great. Got my name down, number. And you know, thinking it's supposed to be a perfect world, the person would get it, right? Wrong. Mindset. If you want it, go get it. Like a lion. A lion doesn't sit and wait for the gazelle to give him the number. No. The lion goes and get the gazelle. So, I waited. You know what? Let me out. Now, always be polite. I called and said, hello, miss. I recently called before. I'm wondering, Mark Avello, Mark DeMello. I wonder if he's available. Um, he's kind of in a meeting right now. Do you have an appointment? No, I do not. But I get my number and name before I make sure he got it. Yes, I'll give it to him. Okay, one quick question. Um, possibly, do you know what time he might come in? Like, oh, he's in right now in a meeting. I said, okay, great. Well, let me get my email address also. You know, I'll keep it in my mind. I give him my email address. So now we have another hour. Well, he will get interested. As time is flying by, I'm not getting no results at all. So I called again. I said, ma'am, I'm really apologize. I really am I really am sorry for calling so often, but it's very urgent this hole gets removed. Is his meeting still going on? He said he, she said he's booked for all day. Now she's getting upset. Oh not he's booked for all he's booked all day. Oh yes, this is no way he can slide in. All I need is a phone call. All he has to do is type in a few on the keyboard to remove the hole. That's all he has to do. So I'm sorry, Mr. Bowling so much, but it's urgent that I schedule these classes. She said, she said just like this. Look. He'll get to you when he can get to you. Now, when a person gets like that, here's what you do. You don't fight him. You don't push him. You be apologetic and empathetic, and you understand how to weasel past the gatekeeper. I said, oh, I deeply apologize if I bothered you in any way, shape, or form. You know what? I apologize. I put my own self before you. You're probably a very busy woman. I feel like I've been nothing but just rude to you, so I really apologize. She said, no, 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 you're fine. You're fine. They like, know I do apologize because I put my own needs before your own. So I like to say I really am. I really do apologize for doing that. And if possible, please, as soon as possible, will you please give him my name, my number, or just ask him to move the hole for me, please. He said, "I will." What's your name? I said, "My name is Jalil Muhammad." Spelled it out and everything. Then after that, thinking that would work, it didn't. But it made it a lot smoother. The next time I called, she said. Hello? I said, hello, man. Is Mark Vail? Oh, are you Jalil? I said, yes, I am. She said, oh, he still hasn't moved it yet? No, he has not. You know what? I'll do it for you right now. I was like, thank you. They like, no, because you're the only person today who actually cared about how I felt and cared about how I was doing the whole day and actually apologized for being so, you know, upfront. You see? Being empathetic and caring gets you very far. So the whole thing, all in all, Everything got wiped clean. I got to schedule my classes. I got to go on my day. Now, what happened next is going to be in the next video. Because that right there is for a trip. You guys stay great. And always, always have a glorious day in your own paradise. Alright, coming at you.